keep pushing for promotion. The region with an equally impressive result at Shrewsbury. The Quakers were desperate for the lift and soon looked capable of getting it. Mick Tate setting himself up for a shot that brought the best out of Steve Perks. It was another defender breaking forward that kept the Shrews keeper busy. This time it was new signing Steve Gorn forcing the low save. But there was absolutely nothing Perks could do to stop Darlington taking the lead after 34 minutes. Get ready for a blockbuster from Steve Mardenborough. The home defence only half clears and Mardenborough is shot like a shell. Even so, John Bond's team might have gone in at half-time level. The chance came to Neil Lyon, who never came to terms with the bounce of the ball, and lobbed miles over. A couple of minutes into the second half, it was Mardenborough again. Lee Ellison with the skill to admire in the build-up, and the Quakers number seven with a rather easier conversion for a 2-0 lead. But he was in the right place and seemed just as pleased. Shrewsbury came closest to making a fight of it when Kevin Summerfield tried another first-timer, but Kevin Smith could have coped, even if it had found the target. In the end, Darlington could have increased the margin. Ellison's speed off the mark deserved its reward, but he just squeezed the shot wide. Still, 2-0 away was more than enough for Frank Gray's survival campaign. So there is...